In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and failures, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the font of baptism have made new those who believe in you, keep safe those reborn in Christ, that defeating every onslaught of error, they may faithfully preserve the grace of your blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Haggai. In the second year of Darius, the king in the seventh month, on the twenty-first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet. Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to all the remnant of the people, and say, Who is left among you who saw this house in its former glory? How do you see it now? Is it not as nothing in your eyes? Yet now, be strong, O Zerubbabel, declares the Lord. Be strong, O Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest. Be strong, all you people of the land, declares the Lord. Work, for I am with you, declares the Lord of hosts, according to the covenant that I made with you. When you came out of Egypt, my spirit remains in your midst. Fear not. For thus says the Lord of hosts, Yet once more in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth, and the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all nations, so that the treasures of all nations shall come in. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, declares the Lord of hosts. The latter glory of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give peace, declares the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, hope in God. I will praise him yet again my saving presence and my God. Altogether, hope in God, I will praise him yet again, my saving presence and my God. Give me justice, O God, and plead my cause against a nation that is faithless. From the deceitful and the cunning, rescue me, O God. Response, hope in God, I will praise him yet again, my saving presence and my God. 
You, O oh God, are my strength. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? Response, hope in God, I will praise him yet again, my saving presence and my God. O oh, send forth your light and your truth, they will guide me on. They will bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Response, hope in God, I will praise him yet again, my saving presence and my God. And I will come to the altar of God, to God my joy and gladness. To you will I give thanks on the harp, O God, my God. Response, hope in God, I will praise him yet again, my saving presence and my God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 9, verses 18 to 22. Now it happened that as Jesus was praying alone, the disciples were with him. And he asked them, Who do the crowd say? that I am. And they answered, John the Baptist. But others say, Elijah. And others, that one of the prophets, the old has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, The Christ of God. And he strictly charged and commanded them to tell this to no one saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Are you Lord God of all creation? Thanks to your goodness to spread we offer fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, 
our integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelly hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. May holy, Therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, all the clergy, religious and faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with the confidence to the Father in the words of our Saviour Kevus. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
to graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant to her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. May this be in the body and blood of the Lord Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. May the Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, save me for eternal life. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to the Masses centered. Thanks be to God. Good morning and have a nice day.